Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating sensitivity and specificity using SPSS and Excel. Both sensitivity and specificity are probabilities associated with a test. Sensitivity tells us that if a person has a disorder, how often will the test be positive? How often will the test indicate that there is a disorder? Specificity tells us that if a person does not have a disorder, how often will the test be negative? How often will the test indicate that there is no disorder? Highly sensitive tests are good for ruling out disorders, and highly specific tests are good for ruling in disorders. So I'll demonstrate this using these fictitious data I have in SPSS. So let's assume we have a specific tests that we've designed or that we want to evaluate. And this test, let's say, attempts to determine if an individual has major depressive disorder. And then let's say that we have an outcome measure that we refer to as a gold standard, which we presume is accurate, meaning if a person has a disorder, the outcome measure is, is going to indicate that they have the disorder. It's going to have a positive result. And if they don't have the disorder, it's going to indicate a negative result, that they don't have the disorder. Now, in counseling, many of the constructs that we measure, like depression and anxiety, are difficult to diagnose with absolute certainty, which is why we would use another instrument that's considered to be a gold standard that we know is highly reliable and valid. Because oftentimes in counseling, there's no definitive test that we can use that would guarantee us an accurate result. So what we're doing is we're comparing a test that we're evaluating to a test that's already been evaluated and we're going to presume is going to give us the correct result. So in this case, we have two variables, the test that we're evaluating and the gold standard, and we have a possibility of a yes or a no. So each variable is dichotomous. So a yes would indicate that we have a positive result for, uh, in this case, major depressive disorder. And then for the outcome, yes indicates the same thing, that uh, MDD was present. A no would indicate that MDD is not present. And again, the same thing for the outcome. So you can see, just looking at these results, that many of these match. Record one indicated there was a disorder. It's a positive result. And so did the outcome. And actually, several of these records do. But if we get down here to, say, record 16, we can see that the test result indicated, yes, it's a positive test result. But in actuality, the disorder was not there. We refer to this as a false positive. The test has a positive result, but it's not true. In record 17, we have the opposite. The test indicated a negative result, meaning there was no major depressive disorder, but in actuality, there was. This is what we refer to as a false negative. We had a test result that was negative, but that, in fact, was not the case. So I'm going to demonstrate two ways to calculate the sensitivity and specificity for this example. And the first will be in SPSS. I'm going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Cross Tabs. This is what the dialog looks like by default. I'm going to move Test Result into the row and outcome into the column. And then under cells, you see by default, the observed count is displayed. In this case, I also want the percentages. Under percentages here, I want to display column. Because for column, I have the outcome variable loaded. So that's the percentage I want to display. So I'll click Continue 
for the cell display and then OK for the cross tabs. And we can see here we're most interested in this result, uh, test result times outcome cross tabulation. We can see the test result here and the outcome over here and then the percentage within outcome. So the sensitivity is going to be where we have, it's going to be the percentage within outcome value associated when we have a positive test result or a yes and a positive outcome or a yes here. So the intersection of those, of that row and that column, and you can see that's 85.3%. That's the sensitivity. The intersection of the negative test result and the negative outcome, again, percentage within outcome here, that intersection is the specificity, and it's 88.5%. So copy this cross tabulation and move over to Excel. I'm going to paste it here. So you can see in this Excel spreadsheet, I have the formula to determine sensitivity. True positive divided by true positive plus false negative. And the formula for specificity, true negative divided by true negative plus false positive. So first, let's populate the value for sensitivity. Uh, true positive. So the true positive value here would be where we have a test result that's positive and the outcome was positive. And that count is 29. So I'll put that in. The false negative is going to be where we had a negative test result. However, the outcome was positive. So if we look at the intersection here between test result no and outcome yes, the count is 5. So I'll put in the value 5. And then I'll build the function in Excel. So I'll put equal sign. And we know it's going to be true positive, so that's C4, divided by, open parentheses, true positive, so again C4, plus false negative, which is C5, you see it's 85.294, which matches the sensitivity here from SPSS. There's just one digit to the right of the decimal displayed here, whereas in Excel, I have set for three digits to the right of the decimal. So I'll go ahead and highlight this cell as the sensitivity. Now let's calculate the specificity. So we can see the formula down here. We're going to need the true negative count. So true negative would be where the test result is negative and the outcome is negative. So if we look at the intersection of that row and column, we can see the value there is 23. False positive would be where the test result was positive, but the outcome was negative. That value is 3. Moving down to input the function, I'll start with equal sign, and then we can see we want true negative, so that'll be E4 divided by, open parenthesis, true negative again, so that's E4 again, plus false positive, which is E5, close the parenthesis, we have 88.462, which you see matches what SPSS has, 88.5. Again, it's just displaying a different number of decimals. So 88.462 is our specificity. So I'll mark that. So you can see we have a couple of different ways to calculate the sensitivity and specificity. One using SPSS, uh, cross tabs, and the other building functions in Excel. I hope you found this video on sensitivity and specificity to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.